The quickest and simplest way to set up and connect your EZ72B to your Wi-Fi network is via the mobile application called Easy Device. This is available for iPhone and Android devices. If you already have an account, log in here, otherwise click on sign up to proceed. Confirm that your mobile device's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections are turned on. The Easy 72 b should be plugged into power. There is no need for any Ethernet connection. Once you are logged into the Easy Device app, go to the top right and click on the plus button. The Add Device window will appear. We'll select the Easy 72 b The next screen will show that the app is scanning for nearby devices. After a moment, the device should be found by its serial number. Click the Connect button. Wait for it to connect to the device. Then we will be prompted to enter the Wi-Fi SSID and password for the network we want to connect the Easy Outlet to. Click Connect when done. Wait while it establishes a connection to the Wi-Fi network. Once connected to the Wi-Fi, the app will add the device to the cloud service, which is what makes it accessible remotely. If this ad process is successful, you should see the following note that the setup process is done. You can now add another outlet device or click done to proceed with additional configuration. Now that our device has been added, we see it shows on our device list. Clicking on it will display the device menu. This is where configuration settings are completed. Let's start with the network page. This is where we can change the display name of our device, which we'll do now. We can also see its IP address information. Click Save at the top right if you've made any changes here. The Settings page is next. This is where we can change the outlet mode from Manual to Auto Reset. Manual Control requires the user to manually power reset the outlet. Auto Reset tells the device to monitor the internet connection and automatically reboot power to the outlet when the connection is lost. This is the setting we want for the router we will have plugged into the outlet. When selecting Auto Reset, you will have the option to include the Wi-Fi signal strength if connected. If the signal drops below a certain threshold, the outlet will reset automatically. Ping delay is how long the device will wait after a reset before it starts monitoring the connection again. Default is one minute. Power on delay is how long the outlet will be powered off for before it turns back on. Our router does best when powered off for at least 15 seconds. Adjust yours accordingly. Number of resets will default to three times. This is generally best for most applications. If the first or second auto reset does not restore connectivity, a third will take place. If that third reset still fails, the connection outage is likely due to another cause. The reset only option is for those with a modem or router plugged into the outlet. This removes the power off option so that users do not accidentally disconnect their internet connection to the device. We are going to turn this on. Last on this page is the ping interval. This is how frequently connection checks are done at the website addresses which are monitored. Default is 15 seconds. We're going to leave this as is. Click Save at the top right when done. Back at the main menu, we'll select Schedule. This is where we can set the outlet to turn on, off, or reset at a specific day and time. Start by switching the first schedule to on, then click on it to open the configuration. Click on the action. Options are either off, reset, or on. We'll set ours to reset so that it just turns the outlet off and back on. Click Done when this selection is completed. Select the week next and then click a day or days you want the schedule to take place. Again, click Done when this is completed. Lastly, select the time at which the schedule should take place. When finished, click Save at the top right. We'll go back again to the main menu and select Ping Address. By default, there are 10 different website addresses that the device pings to check for connectivity. If you instead want to check only one address, perhaps an address of a local network device like a camera or access point, enter that here. You may also change the mode from ping to HTTP if desired. We're going to leave ours at ping. Again, click save if you've made any changes here. Next up is the time page. This is where we set the time zone, how frequently time is checked, as well as daylight saving time settings. I'm going to set my time zone and click done, and then I'll turn on the daylight savings setting. Remember to click save when you're done making changes here. Last on the menu is the information page. This tells us the serial number of the device, the model, and its firmware version. That sums up our first time configuration of the Easy 72 b We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you.